everyone. As a cloud native advocate at VMware, I work with open source communities, customers, and partners to drive awareness and adoption. Many of you have done a tremendous job in making Kubernetes the fastest growing open source project and a key cloud native enabler for enterprises as well. So what does it take for 100,000 enterprises to adopt Kubernetes? Well, first of all, there are millions of enterprises out there, and reaching the first 100,000 is not easy. In Jeffrey Moore's technology adoption lifecycle, he describes a chasm that technologies must cross in order to become mainstream. And becoming a mainstream technology is challenging because as adoption grows, requirements across technology, business, and support models change. So here are the three lessons that VMware has learned and how we're applying them to drive Kubernetes adoption. The first lesson we learned is that for enterprises, technology adoption decisions ultimately become business strategy decisions. As enterprises evaluate technologies, they're not only looking for technical merit, but they're asking questions around business outcomes. So for example, for Kubernetes, they're asking, how does Kubernetes enable business outcomes for my business? What is the time value of investment, such as total cost of ownership and return on investment? And what is the opportunity cost of adopting Kubernetes now versus later? Many of you are involved in six working groups and committees as VMware is as well. And all of our work collectively is at the center of enabling and communicating the business outcomes so enterprises understand the value of adopting Kubernetes. The second lesson we learned is that while some enterprises build their own solutions, most enterprises prefer turnkey, fully integrated solutions with minimal maintenance. And this is because most enterprises just don't have a lot of developer and IT resources. So they're looking for easy to consume solutions that may be offered as support, a cloud-based service, or enterprise software suite. And this is not only between vendors and users, but as adoption grows, solution providers play an increasingly valuable role. Now, in this community, we talk about chopping wood and carrying water. When it comes to enterprise technology adoption, especially for complex technologies, Solution providers do a lot of the chopping wood and carrying water. So VMware has expanded our partner program to drive awareness and training for solution partners as well. And that brings me to the third lesson, which is training and certification are absolutely critical in complex technology adoption scenarios, especially for non-developers. According to IDC, there are approximately 11.7 million full-time professional developers in the world. It's not a lot because if you think about it, that's less than 0.2% of the world's population. And beyond this room, beyond this audience, beyond the Kubernetes community here, there are many architects, IT specialists, sysadmins, and ops engineers out there who are just embarking on the Kubernetes journey. And the CNCF has a very strong training and certification program out there, and VMware has referred and trained thousands of our own customers, partners, and employees as well, so that they can come up to speed on Kubernetes and how they can leverage this technology. And we look forward to working with the community to continue that drive. Now, in addition to those three key lessons and applying them to Kubernetes adoption, we are also expanding our open source initiatives. We are a platinum member of multiple open source foundations. Our open source office, led by Dirk Handel, is innovating and contributing to many open source projects. And we have contributed four open source projects to the Linux Foundation and CNCF. Two of them most recently were Harbor and Turn. And previously, Open vSwitch and IOVisor project, which brought eBPF and XDP to the Linux kernel community. We're also excited to welcome the Hepio team to VMware, and together we look forward to increasing our support and contributions for the community as well. I would love to tell you more 
uh, we have many developers in our booth today and uh, throughout the conference. Uh, so please do come by. In addition to our open source projects, we would love to tell you more about our commercial Kubernetes solutions, including PKS, Cloud PKS, and VMware NSX Service Mesh, which we just announced uh, on Monday. So I look forward to seeing you. Thank you, and uh, have a great conference.